Greetings. Um, sorry, today's costume kind of sucks. I'm sorry. I didn't put um, the full 100% effort into it. Trying to find the right things. Um, this is probably not the best costume for my weight, and I know that. <laughs> but for fun, um, I am going to work on it better. I think I'm, you know what? I think I might use it um, next week, next month. In November for the con. Uh, but this is a little bit of a take on uh, Laura Croft, Tomb Raider. Um, I have the black tights. I know it's supposed to be a gray, a long sleeve gray white shirt. It's supposed to be, you know, here I'll pull it down all the way. It's supposed to be skin tight, but I don't like skin tight. You know, if I can help it, you know. And I got the um, military belt here. <sighs> you do combat boots and the black backpack. Um, I'll share the inspiration picture um, in the middle of this. This is going to be technically kind of a two-parter here. Um, it's two video, yeah, two videos, yeah, two. Hmm. Sorry, I'm not really here. Um, wait, my cookbook that I will be using. This is the Nightmare Before Dinner. Recipes to die for. <laughs> uh, it is the Beetle House cookbook. I really like this. Uh, Karen got this for me and I never got to make any of the uh, recipes for her. Which is why I'm going to try them now. Snow, snow, down. I'm sorry, you're not snow. You're, um, star. Star baby. <sighs> Those are my two girls. I get them mixed up just like I get my kids mixed up. Um, now what I wanted to do to you, for you today, this is going to be modified, okay? It says it's sriracha roasted butternut squash death soup. Ooh, I love it. But, okay, it says to preheat to 400. Since my oven is still down, I'm using this new uh, bigger toaster oven here. So we're going to do oven, and we're going to get the temperature up to 400. So I'm going to let that, you know, heat up. Oh, we'll hit start. Okay, there we go. Hmm. Cool. So, this is preheating. And I am going to start here. Um, now, take, it's a squash, and it says you're supposed to have one cup of diced red onion. I'm not a really big onion fan, but I've got this here. So I am just going to kind of make it, you know, straight suit, um, the squ uh, squash here. And I'm going to use the onion powder instead of, you know, regular onion. I kind of prefer the powder. I don't know why it, I'm not very good at cutting the onion and all that good stuff, but hey. Um, Mm, it smells so good. Here, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna dump it all in. I <laughs> get that little bit there. Yay! Yay! And here we go. Let's see, like I said, I am doing, I am doing variations for myself, but I will, you know, be sharing out of the book as to what it all is. So, um. Now, add olive oil to coat and stir. It says one third a cup of the oil. Um, for me, where'd it go? Oh. Here we go. I'm trying to be a little bit healthier, sort of. So I have this um, avocado oil. I'm gonna use this. 
<laughs> oh, and I have to show this off. I'm sorry. Here. She is precious. Oh, dang it. The kids cut her off. bent it. She used to actually rock. Some of you are saying, oh my god, it's creepy! diseased horse <laughs> and she's just a precious little doll so cute and she used she used to rock oh I see what it is Oops. yeah she used to rock I guess she kind of melted a little but that's my fault that's okay yeah I see now she used to rock see but that's okay I still love her so. <laughs> oh, it's actually heating up now. Nice. Here, you know what? I'll take her down and put her over here so she doesn't melt as much now. Oh, and I can't forget my little kitty. Here's a kitty I can play with while I'm cooking. <laughs> and yes, it makes noise too. But let, let's get back to the cooking. <laughs> That's what we're here for. All right, yeah. Really need my rainbow. Need my rainbow. Aren't they pretty? <laughs> um, yeah, it's one third. So I got a purple. Now this is to coat. Oh, wow. And this is avocado oil again. Um, it says to use like olive oil, but I mean, I suppose I could, but I have this, so I'm gonna, gonna kind of use it for now. There we go. <laughs> now I just want to coat it. I like to use my spatula to stir. You know, we want to coat it all nice and good so it gets you know, nice and roasted, you know. There we go. <laughs> I do promise the costumes will get better. There's going to be some corny ones like this. Um, because I'm on a limited budget and it's, you know, what I can find. And others are going to be a little bit more elaborate. As I said, it's what I can find. <laughs> and uh, Karen left me some really nice stuff. So, okay, they're all nice and well coated. Now, okay, we're gonna have some. I'm gonna make some spices now. little mixing bowl so. and we start with uh, one-fourth 
a teaspoon of coriander. And here's the coriander. Yeah, I went out and got these just for these recipes because I know I needed them. Mm -hmm. My scissors. Scissors. Yeah, this would be better if I had, you know, just a plain white or gray t-shirt. But I don't I don't really have much white and I wasn't I haven't been able to get to uh, the Goodwill or anything yet. It's a sprinkle. So I'm gonna kinda of pop the top here. Yes, these come off. And so one fourth. There we go. It's one fourth right here. Okay. Oh, purple again. <laughs> yeah, one fourth of uh, the coriander. So, here, one fourth coriander. Um, so, it's one fourth. Now we do one fourth. Cinnamon. This is McCormick. <laughs> yeah. Never add too much cinnamon. Oh my god, I did that once to the cookies. Oh, I made the Wookie Wookies. Okay, cookies. And oh my god. I added too much cinnamon and uh Alright, and Okay. Oh. It was supposed to be half oh sorry. Half a teaspoon of cinnamon. So I need one more cinnamon. I'm gonna do one more fourth of cinnamon. And then I gotta get my garlic, which is up there. So ooh, this is gonna be some good stuff. Ooh, yay. There we go. Whew, I missed right that. Oops. So far we have one fourth a teaspoon coriander, one half teaspoon uh, ground cinnamon. Now I'm going to do half a teaspoon of garlic powder. Hi, Lena. Here's my garlic powder. And open the big one. Um, you know what? I'm just going to use this again. I'm going to get... Hey! Lena! No, no. No, no, girl. Come on. That way. That way. Thank you. Go on. Oh, yeah. So, we're going to do... Here. One. And... Uh, two. There. Man. All right, everybody. They got to be up my butt. I love them. Okay, now we do one half of smoked paprika. Now, if anyone knows the difference between regular paprika and smoked paprika, I mean, is there a big flavor difference? I don't know. But I went out and I made sure I got the smoked paprika. So, we need one tablespoon of this. Well, half a tablespoon, sorry. So, there we go. And next is uh, one fourth of ground nutmeg. Nutmeg, nutmeg, nutmeg. We always keep nutmeg because James likes to use nutmeg uh, when making his French toast. Oh, he makes the 
best French toast with cinnamon and nutmeg and oh, oh. instead of using milk with the eggs he uses a little bit of heavy cream and oh it is too it is divine and it's just the one fourth right yeah one fourth and next is it says half of um sea salt hmm. One half sea salt. Where's my salt? Where is the pretty salt? I have the pink Himalayan salt. But did I put it up here? I think yes, here it is. Let's see. Well, it well it's pink Himalayan salt, but it should be fine anyway. And I do how much again? I'm bad at this. One half of the sea salt. Yeah, this is going to be a long video. I'm sorry. And <laughs> yeah, here we go. So we do one and two. Here we go. Now. I'm gonna look up here because it's fun and where is it? I have a tiny baby whisk. I think he came with one of the kids' toys or something. I don't know. But I'm gonna mix up all these lovely spices. Mm. Oh my god, it smells so good. I wish you guys had smell o vision for this, you know? But this, I. Oh, Nice and, all nice and mixed up. <laughs> and now we sprinkle it over the top. There we go. That looks lovely. Put that in the sink. Okay. Now, it says to cover and roast for 45 minutes. Now, um, I am... Lena, honey, come here. Come here, pretty girl. I'm sorry. Yeah, she's not doing too good right now. We're not quite sure. Uh, she's got a skin condition. Poor thing. It's okay, baby. There you go. <sighs> yeah, she got into uh, something... But vet says she'll be fine. It's just, you know, a little skin condition. Now, I'm not going to really cover this, but we will put it in here. And I will roast it in here for 45 minutes. It is, let's see, 11.41, 11.40 now. So... I will keep an eye on the clock, and I hope you enjoyed this. I will be back to finish the soup with you. Oh, wait. Hold on. <laughs> Sorry. I'm messing up. Okay. So, finally cooked. Um, here we go. And what's next here? Let's see. Transfer, transfer the roasted squash mixture to the food processor. Um, I've got the ninja here. <laughs> um, blender. Um, make sure to get all the drippings, oil, and burnt ends from the pan. So we're going to do that first. I'll put that over there. Ah, nosy itch. And oh, that looks so pretty though. Um, there. Oh, oops. Uh, I just want this. Just want this. Only this. Oh, that does look good. I could just eat it like that, you know? But, but we're going to make this into a really nice soup. <laughs> so I'm going to 
here. Here, we're gonna close that. I'm gonna hold this, and it says to put it in here. So, I there we go. I'm just gonna ooh, the oil drippings, everything. Just you know, here I'm gonna. That is really starting to look good though. Who smells divine? I don't really have any burnt ends though. So, mm. yeah, there we go. A little oil. The oil, there we go. Yeah. Now, I'm gonna put that in the sink. Oh, it's nice and hot. There, put that there. Put that down. I'm going to set that in my pot for now. Sorry, I'm going to take a bite. Mmm. Eating my lunch. Now, here is another little um, twist I am going to make. Once I figure out everything, okay. Hold on. Okay, you're supposed to add, it's one cup plained, yeah, plain almond milk and half a cup of vanilla soy milk. And you add sriracha. I don't do sriracha. So that's going to be a no. This is supposed to be a vegan. Uh, yay. But um, I did get the almond milk. However, I have the vanilla almond milk. Sorry. And that is one cup. So one cup. Are we done? I am not, sorry, I'm not going to add the uh, sriracha. And yes, um, I can get this. I got the uh, vanilla almond milk because uh, Dean and Jace do like almond milk, surprisingly. Oh, hi, baby girl. <sighs> Okay, and next, um, you're supposed to add soy milk. I'm not really big on that, so I want this kind of extra creamy. So I am going to use heavy whipping cream. <laughs> so I have some heavy whipping cream. And this is only supposed to be half a cup. And it will get loud. Sorry. <laughs> so there we go. About half a cup. And I'm not doing the sriracha. I don't like sriracha. Sorry. <laughs> I'm not. Um, unfortunately... If you don't like trauma, look away, but, um, hmm. eh. I have trauma to my tongue. So, yeah. Here's my ninja. There, we'll turn so you can see it. Yes, I love this thing. Uh, James got me this for Christmas one year. Uh, I loved him for it, too. <laughs> You know, I am sorry. I am so sad. And I mean in a pathetic way. Okay, now. You gotta make sure. Now, with this, you gotta make sure. See, it's got an arrow. And an arrow here. They have to add up. Otherwise, it's not gonna shut. So, yeah. That's always fun. And then we go click it down. And if this is not shut all the way, it will not work. No, no. One Christmas, I got the ninja here. And yes, I use this. I make smoothies. 
The KitchenAid is Karen's. Well, mine now. And I love it. I use it. <laughs> and for Christmas, for uh, one Christmas, I got the Instapot from James when it first came out. Um, and the Christmas before that, I got a Crock-Pot for Christmas because that's what I wanted. And you know what I want this year for Christmas? A freaking sandwich maker. <laughs> I want a sandwich press, you know? <laughs> like, they've got the $15 ones at, like, $15, $20 ones at Walmart. You know, you put your bread down, you put your sandwich, you put your sandwich stuff on, put the bread on top, and then you shut it, and you let it heat it up, and it cooks, makes kind of like a little Hot Pocket sandwich. God, I really want one of those. I had one for the kids. However, it's in storage. And some of the stuff I've been pulling out of storage really doesn't look so good. So, I'm mm -mm, not really good on that. No. Let's see. Now, it says it's we are supposed to process it until it is uh, smooth and creamy. About it that says about three minutes, but here, let's see. Is it plugged in? Oh, hold on. No, it is not. Not plugged in. Yes. So I'll plug it in. Ooh. Oops. Yeah, I gotta be careful there. <laughs> All right, I am sorry. This is probably going to be a little loud. Actually, you know what? I'll pause and I'll do this off so you guys, so I don't hurt your eardrums. All right, I think it's done. <laughs> now the next part is going to be a lot of fun um, too. Now you transfer the mixture into a saucepan. And heat on medium until it reaches a slow rolling boil. Then lower the heat uh, for three to five minutes until it's at your desired temperature. So I have my pan, my pot here. This was a gift from Karen to... Uh, this was actually a Chris, um, this set was actually a Christmas gift from Karen. So, yeah. It's sad. I like getting Christmas. I like getting cooking appliances and such <laughs> for Christmas. Don't give me no vacuum. I don't want a vacuum. No. But if it's something that I can do in the kitchen, oh, hell yeah. I love the kitchen. Now, with this, I, I'm going to go ahead and pop this up. Put the release open. Here. And I am going to taste this, though. Ooh, look at that. That is so gorgeous. Mmm. Mm. Oh my god, this is so good. Oh, yes. I love this. And now I'm just going to kind of, here. Oh. Mm. <laughs> this is fun. Have some fun. <laughs> okay, here I'm gonna, you know, get this out. I think next time I might make it a little creamier. I might add a little bit more heavy cream for me at least, because I, you know, and maybe I'll add a touch of sriracha at the end. I'm pretty sure Karen would have loved this. I know, because she loved the butternut squash. as much as I can, much as I can. Alright, there we go. <laughs> okay, ooh. I'm gonna need to go get the boy soon. Put that there, and here. Sorry, 
I am a home cook. Nobody's going to be eating this but me. Maybe James. I mean, Karen would have been eating it with me, but she's not here no more. I'm sad. Here, we'll do this. Ah! <laughs> I'm getting messy. Rinse my hands off here. <clears throat> and dry rag. <coughs> my drying rag. Now I have it turned on. I'm actually going to turn it up here. And right now we're just heating it to the temperature that we want it to be. We're serving. Well, you got to bring it to a boil, but oh my God. This looks so gorgeous and it, oh my God, it tastes really good too. It's like, oh. Mm. And I'm going to read the last bit here. Let's see. Yeah, this uh, sweet, hearty, stick-to-your-ribs soup is perfect for a chilly autumn night. It's a warm-you-up, haunt-your-taste buds, and sing-to-your-soul kind of meal. See, and the best part is, you know, if you follow the recipe, it's vegan. Now, ooh, there we go. Now it's coming to a boil. Yeah, I'm going to stir. Okay. <laughs> Now, yep, it says uh, lower the heat, yeah, until it reaches a slow rolling boil. It was. Now we lower the heat and basically for three to five minutes. And yes, I am going to kind of stir here so that it heats evenly for me. And then you divide it among the bowls, drizzle with a few drops of sriracha or Tabasco or more for your taste, and then you garnish with chopped nuts of any kind but this is like oh man i really do love this this is really good so this is i don't know if the kids are going to eat this or not i'll figure out if james can well if james will i don't know but yeah i think that's pretty good this is really starting to come off a little warm and it's bubbling and ooh. Nice and smooth, and it's, you know, this would be a really good, you could use this as a meal itself, you know, as a soup, soup and salad with breadsticks, that'd be nice. Um, they do have a, it, this would actually go really good with the fall salad they have, however, I'm not going to get a chance to make that one, I'm sorry. Mmm, that is really, really good. Mm, yes. Mmm. Oh my god, I love that. Oh, I really, really love that. Mmm. You know, that would go really good with like a grilled cheese or a tomato sandwich. Mmm. But. I hope you've enjoyed this lovely recipe for my lovely little Halloween. And I promise my costumes will get better. <laughs> this was a bit of a last minute, this was kind of a last minute throw together because um, I couldn't find what I was looking for. I haven't been able to get to the store. Oh, yeah. 
And, well, excuse after excuse. I am sorry. I had a different outfit planned. I wanted to do a pandemic survivor. Um, I had, well, Karen had a shirt that had a black cat with a hood on it, had the little, um, pandemic sign on it, on its, on the, uh, forehead of the cloak (laughs) that the cat was wearing, and it says 2020 pandemic survivor. So I was going to wear that with, you know, camo pant, with the camo pant, um, yeah, camo pants, and I was going to have, you know, my hair a little wild, but, so, unfortunately, I could not find that costume this morning. I, me, I don't know what happened. I had it set aside, and now it's gone, and it's like, Arr! I don't like that. <sighs> but, I hope you've enjoyed this one, so... I will hopefully catch you tomorrow. Bye.